Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and uh, this is a video for my buddy B Junior from over at Endurance Productions. Go check out his YouTube channel. Got a link in the description below. Uh, one of my Sausage Factory brothers, and uh, he asked me to do a uh, mask collection video. B Junior's recently got into collecting masks and has recently discovered Trick or Treat Studios. And I'm a pretty big fan of Trick or Treat Studios. I've bought several of their masks, as you can see there. And i um, got a bunch of hockey masks up there as well. So um, I will dive in first with my very first Trick or Treat Studios purchase. And that was for the Halloween 2 mask. You can see it right there. Now all these Trick or Treat Studios masks I did individual unboxing videos of and in-depth looks at uh, each individual mask. So go check out those videos. But uh, yeah, this is the Halloween 2 replica Trick or Treat Studios mask, and there you can see the little... I always like looking at that. I think that's just a little, nice little added bonus there on his neck, where Lori stabbed him with the, uh, with the uh, knitting needle in Halloween 1. But uh, yeah, there's my Halloween 2 mask. Very, very cool. Yes, yes, yes. Over here is my... Halloween 6 Michael Myers mask and there's my tiny terrors Jason and, and Freddy a little added bonus there but uh, yeah Halloween 6 Trick or Treat Studios mask very very cool very very cool and over here is Dr. Tongue Trick or Treat Studios Day of the Dead mask and there's my little Jason hanging out there <laughs> Let me move him out of the way so you can see Dr. Tongue a little bit better. But yeah, just gruesome and gory and bloody and ghastly, and I just absolutely love it. Awesome. Awesome mask there. And there's Dr. Tongue and old Bub there on the uh, on the uh, on the sticker there, on the tag, I should say. But yeah, just a beautiful mask. Love his eyes. Just check out those eyes. Beautiful beautiful mask and another beaut here is the they live mask and there's Leatherface tiny tears as well um, but yeah I mean the uh, let me move him out of the way yeah isn't that cool gotta work on his hair though his hair's a little yeah gotta work on his hair but hair hair on these kind of masks is very um, uh, you know little difficult to deal with sometimes you have a, a mask with good hair sometimes you have a mask with bad hair and I think this one's just a mask with a little bad hair on that one but the uh, mask is still really cool just awesome 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 and over here I've got there's my little dancing day of the dead dolly let me move her out of the way probably should have done this beforehand but um there is my Leatherface mask, and I've had this mask for many, many, many years. Just love this mask to death. Love this mask to death. Leatherface. Yeah, I've had this guy for a long, long time. He's done me well over the years dressing up as Leatherface, scaring all the neighborhood kids and just anybody who happens past on, uh, on Halloween night. Awesome stuff. Awesome. Uh, I actually have another Leatherface mask right up here. It's kind of a Leatherface uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 looking mask. I actually won this one um, from uh, an eBay um, auction that my buddy CK from Dead Pit actually did. And I won that bad boy. And there's, there's Jason <laughs> just chilling back there. Stuff Jason just chilling back there. But yeah, really, really cool mask there. Um, and this, this leather face mask, I actually bought him online. I have no idea. I don't remember where. Many, 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 many years ago. Let's go up and check out some hawks. And, uh, well, there's the little baby hawk that came with the uh, Friday the 13th Ultimate Collection uh, DVD set that was released years ago. Put you right there. Here's my Friday the 13th. Part 5 Creepy Hawk that CK from Dead Pit made for me. Very, very cool. Love it. Here is my... Um, this is kind of a Part 3 mask. 
This is also one that CK made. I actually bought it from him at a convention and took it over and had Kane Hodder sign. Very, very cool mask there. Another uh, Creepy Hawk from the Creepy Kentuckian. This is a Part 8 mask. I actually won this one. He had put this one on eBay as well and won it. Uh, there's a Part 5 mask. Actually, another eBay auction. Won this one from a buddy of mine by the name of Paul. And uh, very, very cool. He's actually made some leather straps for the back of the mask, which is very cool. But you really, really like that mask. Very cool mask. This mask here is kind of special. I actually bought this mask from Richard Brooker at a convention a couple of years ago. Uh, about a, And had him sign it. This was about a month before he passed away. So that's my Richard Brooker Halloween, or I'm sorry, um, Friday the 13th mask that he signed for me. Yeah, and then yeah, just sadly like a month later or so, he passed away. So, very, very sad. This is the NECA Friday the 13th Part 4 mask. Did a uh, individual unpackaging of this mask. Very, very cool. And here is a Creepy Hawk um, Friday the 13th Part 4 hockey mask that he made for me. And very, very cool. Love that blood there. Very, very cool. And there's my uh, Friday the 13th hockey mask drinking glass, which I've not drank from. So, um, But yeah, that is my mask collection. Hope you enjoyed, B-Junior. Hope everybody out there also enjoyed... And um, until next time, you guys take it easy, and uh, we'll see you. Peace. <laughs>